All right, I am back for the next episode of the Voracious Goddess Curse for Seventh Continent. We got off the starting island last time, and we've landed on, this is card 38038. Flavor text on this says, a sandy beach runs along the coast and towards the north. It appears to give way to increasing vegetation and a greater likelihood of finding wood. So I'll throw that over there on the card cam just to recap a little bit here. We've got a walking stick with the bow attached to it with six uses on it. Got some rope with three uses, a blowpipe with two. Uh, we've got some experience in our, on our clue card over here. In my hand, I have Think, War Paint, Perseverance, and Learn by Doing. And we've only got two cards in the discard pile. We've got quite a few. Our action deck is pretty full right now, as full as it can be. Um, so let's take a look here at this terrain card. I don't see any hidden numbers. There's that pineapple looking fruit or pineapple looking plant thing again. Looks like there's a turtle shell. And we've got a spot or observe on the beach and then a uh, like go see investigate um, thing down there as well and there's leaves on this terrain card for for crafting so we've got all this area here to build the map this time and we need a level that level two exploration card really wants to play okay Throw that up there. We can move it around if we need more space as we're going. We got quite a bit of space on the table here. Let's take a peek at this one. It's free, so it's card 36. You don't need to draw any cards, and there's no successes required. So let's just take a peek. Sharp rocks at the end of the beach might prevent you from going further, so you consider going around them to explore the shore from the edge of the sea. So this is a swimming... If we wanted to swim away from here, we could. Okay, let's take a peek at this. 53. It's a 1+, plus and we don't need any successes, so we just have to draw a card. And it's a torch. This is a vigilance item which we could add to the blowpipe. We don't have wood, vines, or fire right now. It's going to keep that in my hand. There's no reason not to. This war paint, I actually thought about crafting this because I have leaves where I am. And if I ever come across the flying roots this has the hide action on it uh, which would help me move it move it away i think i'm just going to do that next i know it's my fourth item um, but if we need to make room we could probably get rid of the blowpipe if we absolutely have to okay so i drew the card now let's take a look at what we uncover, it's uh, 53. There's multiple 53s, so there's two of them. I need another die. What did I do with the dice? I don't have them close. I do have some over here. Let me just grab these real quick. I just like to randomize it a little bit more than just a quick little shuffle. So we're going to do odds, evens, odds. So this one will go back in the box. So the back of it says, you walk along the beach searching for any usable debris that the tide could have carried here. All right, you find a small wooden chest half buried in the sand and looking intact in spite of the rough surf. 
One character involved in the following action may discard one card with the keyword skill from their hand or inventory in order to obtain one star during the result step. So this has the key symbol on it. And I don't want to get rid of my rope. Rope has the keyword skill on it. So this would go here. I'll throw it up here so you can take a quick, quick peek at it. I love the art in this game. I think I said it a couple times last night when I was playing. It just looks pretty good. So two plus and two successes. And I, I do not want to get rid of my rope. I'm thinking just in case I'll draw three cards. There's no consequence for failing other than it's just going to be lost cards. Before I attempt that, I could think to see if there's something that could help me. Huh. If I had like a club or something, I don't have anything with the key symbol on it. No. I'm just going to try. So I'm going to draw three cards. There's one, and that has the key on it. Okay, so I got enough stars. Now it's just which item do I want to keep, or which card, I should say. Stamina and skill, so I could add this to the rope. Uh, that's an expensive way to make fire. It costs two cards. The shovel is a stamina item. I don't have another stamina item out there. I actually do not have a fire making item right now, so I should probably take the woven cord. Okay, so we have to banish this and replace it with a 55. There's one 55. A click lets you know that you have managed to unlock the chest. You open it without further delay, hoping it might contain something useful. Immediately after this is revealed, take a 350 card. Okay. And these are sleeved. So there's quite a few of them. Maybe 15 or so, 15 or 20. I don't know if I've ever gotten a 350 card before. I've said that a couple of times, like I'm like this is my hundredth playthrough. It's not. Oh no, there's a card that's damaged in here. So I need to shuffle this without looking. And then I'll just take one from inside. And I did not get the damaged one. What do you know? <laughs> it's an interesting thing to find for this uh, playthrough on the channel. It's a board game. Nothing like a good old fashioned game. Randomly take as many cards as you want from the discard pile and reveal them. Choose one blue-handed card among the revealed cards. Shuffle all these cards together and then draw one of them. If it is the chosen card, shuffle all these cards into the action deck. Otherwise, discard them. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a miniatures game on the seventh continent. Nothing like a good old-fashioned game. So you randomly take as many cards as you want from the discard pile and reveal them. Then you choose one from among those, shuffle all these cards together, and then draw one of them. So you're trying, you're kind of like pressing your luck a little bit to try to get cards back into the action deck. 
It seems interesting, but I don't have any room to put this item in my display, in my array of items, and I, I don't really want to get rid of something. But I mean, how could I not keep the board game? No, I don't want to get rid of something to put it up there. Well, anyway, that's cool. It's an interesting little thing that they've um, added. I will throw that into the past. Okay, so let's explore this. Stream. You come across a babbling brook where you can quench your thirst and freshen up a bit. It feels so wonderful. Immediately after this is revealed, each involved character may choose one card with the keyword serenity or stamina in the discard pile and add it to their hand. Oh, this is a place where we could we could get rid of the bloody state. What is that little hand? Take or handle. We could I guess we could wash off in the stream. Is there something with serenity or stamina? There's a knowledge is power. Uh, but I don't need it. So uh, I would just discard it then. We do this action at the bottom that's um, we don't really need to get we don't have a tired or bloody state. Um, so we'll just discard it. All right, so we want card 54 and there's more than one of them. We've got two. Odds evens, odds again. Uh, so that one goes back in the box. The wind whistles through the boughs of the tall pines, carrying both the scent of sea spray and a faint underlying smell of rot. Uh oh. There's snow. Um, hmm. I see some tracks. I don't really see any hidden numbers. And there's logs there. I don't have anything that I need to um, build. Or, or not build, craft with logs at the moment. Okay, so we need three level two exploration cards. So if I think about my clue card, they're basically the, the red line is just continuing to go north. So All right, so I need to move up there. All I did was explore to reveal the card. Uh, so it's gonna take one to move off of here. And I don't think I wanna use my walking stick for that. I will definitely use it off of here because that's a two. Oh, and you need two successes? Oh boy. Maybe I won't use my walking stick up there because you have to get some successes. And my walking stick is not going to give me any successes for walking. Um, okay, so one to walk. Um, it's a flying route, but that's okay. Because I'm taking off from that tile, or uh, card anyway. I keep wanting to call them tiles today for some reason. So there was nothing to observe there. Um, yeah, and I do think I just want to keep going up this way. So let's see what's up there. Bamboo tube. You've broken off a little fragment of bamboo that should enable you to breathe underwater. So I could put this in as an item, I'm guessing. And then I just... Uh, always have access to um, bamboo. I'm going to do a crafting 
action, there's bamboo. And if I was swimming, I'd get a success. And using it does not lower the durability. But again, I don't have a spot in my item area for something like that. So that just gets discarded. And we're going to bring out card 59 to fill the spot. At the center of a little clearing, you see a hut with a small plume of smoke rising up through its roof. And there's vines there. I know for sure I've never seen this card. I don't remember trees of that color before. More snow off to the right. Don't see any secret numbers or anything. I can investigate that little hut thing. Okay, and there's, yeah, there's vines there. I said that already. And I need vines for both my woven cord and the torch. But the torch would be uh, so much easier to craft if I had fire, a fire made. All right, I'm going to check out over here. I might, I might go this direction. Uh-oh. Threatening clouds. In the distance, the sky becomes more menacing. In no time, the massive dark clouds start flashing, and you hear the first rolls of thunder. If a weather card is already in play, return it and remove the corresponding figure from the board. Put the thunderstorm figure into play on the card that will replace this. If it's not a terrain card, put the figure into play on the active player's terrain card instead. Okay, so we need to get the thunderstorm. There's the thunderstorm. And we need a base for the weather. It's not that. Here we go. And then we got to see what this is actually going to do to us. I doubt it's going to be good. That's kind of like a underlying theme that I keep saying it feels like. So this is going to block quite a bit from the overhead camera. Uh, we need card 505. I have no idea what this is going to do. 500. 500, 510, 503, 505, a thunderstorm breaks out and heavy rain pours on the entire region. You decide to proceed with caution, hoping that lightning does not strike you. Immediately after one or more character figures leave the terrain card with thunderstorm figure on it, take a 549 card. As long as the Thunderstorm figure is in play, when a character moves their figure into a terrain card that is not adjacent to their terrain card, they must return their bloody state. So that would wipe, wash off the bloody state as well. That's kind of okay. If they move their figure three or more cards away from the terrain card it just left, they take a 102 card. So if you do a big move, you're going to get like tired or something. When you return all the cards on the board, return this as well as remove the Thunderstorm figure from the board. So this is going to go on to that card we have to pull out, 132. So I'm wondering if we just go north anyway to avoid the Thunderstorm. The area appears to be clear of any danger. However, a few fresh tracks suggest that some animals have passed through here recently. Hmm. There's that like berry looking bush thing. And yes, there are some tracks and there's like a, what's the eyeball one? Spot or observe action we could do there. 
Sorry, I had to take a drink. Hmm. So, there's a couple things we could do. The thunderstorm looks interesting on the uh, from the top-down view. I think I wish I had some snowshoes, but I don't because it looks like there's more snow this direction. So if I'm going to go that way. I don't know what happens when you leave the place with the thunderstorm, so I think I'm going to try to go around it just to be safe. If I was bloody, I'd go over there to wipe it off or wash it off, I mean, but I'm not, so. I'm going to go up here, but this one's got some difficult movement on it, so I need to draw at a minimum of two cards, but I have to get the, the important thing is the two successes, and I don't have anything that gives me auto successes. I'm really wishing I had the snowshoes right now. So we'll draw just the, should I just draw two or should I get three? We've only got a couple cards in the discard pile. I'm gonna draw three, because if I fail, then I'd have to draw another set of two and that would be a total of four. So we'll try to do three just to be safe. Oops, and I'm wondering if that was a wise decision. So this was the first one, curse, the second one, Oh, two stars. We would have been fine. Oh, so we got some interesting choices to make here. Our hand is full, but I could always get rid of this learn by doing. Or maybe the think. This one gives me two stars, but I have to take a 101 card. Yeah, two stars is probably pretty good. This will help even more if I have to fight something. And it's... Uh, this just needs to stay in my hand. I don't even have to put it out as an item. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to keep these two stars. I know it's going to give me that state, but if I come across a really big test, I want to have some automatic successes. Okay, so that was me moving to there. I forgot to do this. So we need a level two and a level two. Move the thunderstorm around a little bit. Um, let's check out this hut with smoke. I have to draw one card, don't need any successes. It's a remember. I like remember better than think because remember lets me, uh, even though. I might get something good from the action deck. Remember, or just lets me dig in the discard pile exactly after anything that I want that's in there. Okay. So that's card 98 that I need to grab. Oop, there's more than one. Odds and evens again. Got a two, so it's this one's the one we keep. This one's going back. It says you enter the hut. There's actually somebody in there. An old man sitting by the fire stares at you at length and eventually speaks to you in a strange language. Will you try to communicate or get ready to fight? If you want to take the following action, you must discard one card with the keyword food or clothing from your inventory. Oh. 
I don't have that. So if I try to fight him, banish your terrain card, replace it with a 059 card, banish this and replace it with a 63. These are not actions that I have to take. I don't think I want to fight him. And it's giving me the fire resource. I don't think I have to do either of these things. I mean, there's no red, there's no hourglass and there's no like red thing around the action, which would be that like something that everybody has to participate in. If you lose when, when you fight him, he messes up your items. You lose two durability. Is that all items? Unless otherwise stated, the involved character must remove a total of X pips. No, you can spread it out. Okay. Uh, there's fire. Fire and vines. Uh, I'm going to make the torch while I'm here. There is no wood, but I'm going to look here. Maybe they'll, maybe wood will show up. I'm not going to do anything with the man. I wish I had some food or clothing, um, but I don't. Let's check this out. Icy patches. The ground has become frozen in places overnight. A few of the ice patches are still dangerously slippery. Be careful. So you have to do a balance action, drawing a card to get two successes. You, you manage to stay on your feet, discard this. Or if you fail, you get hurt and you lose a bunch of durability. Um, I don't have anything that helps on balancing. So let me do some crafting. What is the result step after I... So I would reveal cards, so... Maybe that's what this is going to get used for. But I'm going to craft this torch. It costs four to craft it, but you get a discount of one for vines, which we have here. Um, there you go. Vines, and then we've got fire from this card up here. And it's a vigilance item, so we can add it to our blowpipe. So it is going to cost us one because it starts four and we get, we're getting a three discount. Although the blowpipe was something that I had planned on getting rid of if I needed to make room. I need to find a hunting ground, which is probably here where the thunderstorm was, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just keep that because we've got room. Thunderstorm, we'll just put you over here by the actual thunderstorm. Add this Vigilance item. Takes that item up to six. Maybe the war paint we would lose if we need to make room for something. Okay, so that was crafting. I'm heading this direction, so I don't even I don't want to risk like there being something totally wicked under there. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get rid of these this icy patch. It's one card locked and you need two successes. So you could be like totally hosed. I guess they just want you to fail. So you lose the, the pips and take the 104 state. Okay, so do I do that or do I, oops. I guess there should be a card right there. This looks really snowy right here. That's got me a little worried. It called out these tracks over here and I really need to find some food. So 
So I don't want to keep cycling through my deck. Let's see what happens with the thunderstorm. I'm going to travel off of it, but I'm going to travel uh, all the way through. And I'm going to use one of the walking stick just so I'm not cycling through the action deck for this move to go there. What the heck, let's take a peek at that. Um, so it's, we have to draw one card. It's a knowledge is power. No, I like what I've got. And we need card 74. Okay. Animal spore and some tufts of fur on the nearby rocks indicate animal activity of some kind. You hide and wait in ambush, ready to pounce on any potential prey. Okay, so this is a hunting spot. Let's put our thunderstorm up here. So this is going to go down here. So it's two... It's two locked cards and need at least three successes. So what do we have as far as hunting stuff? We've got one, two, three successes on hunting. And we can take it down a couple of cards. So we could do the minimum and then not have to draw anything by using our walking stick and our blowpipe. And we also have the perseverance in our hand, which allows us to, uh, if we don't like what we draw, we can draw something else. But I don't think I'm going to draw anything. Could be dangerous. I mean, I might draw like two predators or something, but so we're going to use a pip off of this and a pip off of this. And that's going to give us, so we're getting two successes on a hunt here and a minus two cards and a success here for uh, zero draws and three stars. So we get to draw two um, 150 cards. And we don't have the bloody state. So we're drawing two of these and choosing one. How about you and you? We're going to have to, if we get food, give up something out of our item array. Okay, so what did we get? White hair and a vulture. This large carrion bird is picking at a small rotten mammal and does not seem to have noticed you. So we can take a 003 card and three 001 cards. So we get experience and three pieces of food, but then we get a 105. Or the white hair, we can just take two 001s. So I'm looking at this thunderstorm because I think 105, I think that might be bloody. I can't remember for sure. As long as the thunderstorm figure is in play, when a character moves their figure to a terrain card that is not adjacent to their terrain card, they must return their bloody state. 
If they move their figure three or more cards away from the terrain card it just left, they take a 102. I'm not sure I entirely understand the second half of this. As long as a Thunderstorm figure is in play, when a character moves their figure to a terrain card that's not adjacent to their terrain card. So if you move more than one space, you return your bloody state. But if you move three or more away from the, your terrain card, you have to take a 102. Because experience and three 001 cards, obviously better than two 001 cards. I don't know what that 105 is though, and it could have the thing where we have to discard a card. I'm just gonna play it safe and take the two. Let me know in the comments, would you have taken the reward from the vulture or kept the hair? I'm very tempted, but now I've already put it back, so. Uh, take two zero zero one cards. So we will discard that. Just gonna draw out of the box at random two zero zero one cards. So this is interesting. I've never seen this one before. So we got a regular three six meat crustacean, but this one is like an organ or something. You would really have to be starving to death to eat this disgusting bit. Other creatures would probably be less picky. If you are hungry, or if the action deck contains less than seven cards, you may discard this and take another 001 card. But I could use it and get three successes on a hunt. It's like bait. That's cool. Okay, war paint, you're elected to be removed. So now this, we have to turn into its gold version. So we take 74. You notice what looks like some older animal tracks. The tracks may not be the freshest, but with some patience and the appropriate equipment, you hope to be able to catch some game. So this is five cards and four or more successes. And you draw from the 250. Hmm. I don't know if 150 or 250 is more dangerous, but I've got three successes here. Four, five, six, I could draw three 250s. I could use my learn by doing, and then I would draw no cards. I think I'm gonna do it. So I'm doing another hunt. I'm gonna use my learn by doing, it's minus three. I'll use the blowpipe and the bow attached to the walking stick. And that's gonna give me the minus five, and then one, two, three, and I will discard this for four, five, six. So that's three 250 cards. There are not as many of these, I don't think. Doesn't feel like it. I don't know, maybe there's like more predators or something should have done better on your first hunt instead of your second hunt. What do I got as far as weapons go? Just my bow. And that doesn't add a lot. All right, so we get three of these about you you and you. And we'll put the rest back in the box. Got 
Got another white hare. Got the wild boar. Oh, we just got rid of the... Uh, the war paint, too. The war paint would have helped. It's zero cards and three successes. Empty-handed. Man, the wild boar would be four cards, but I wouldn't be able to keep all of them anyway. So we'll take another white hair for two more. Uh, zero, zero, 001 cards. I don't know why I like saying the zeros. And I'm just going to pull these randomly from the box and not get out however many of those there are. All right. And these are both three sixes. I think there's like some two five ones. I can't remember. I don't think they're all three six though. Three without fire and six with fire is what I mean when I say three. Six. So we've got three things there. We're not even at halfway yet on the action deck, so I think we're okay. Um, so that was that. Let's take a look at this over here. Uh, where are we at on time? 40 minutes, okay. It's like some paper or something in here. All right, this doesn't sound good. Pre this is a side quest. Prepare for the worst. I keep saying this a lot, but I don't think I've had a side quest before. Let's take a look at it. You can only speculate as to what challenges lie ahead for you. Someday you may find yourself alone, scared, and with nothing but your wits and survival skills at your disposal. Still, you must find a way to make it through. If you succeed in performing a locked action, being the only involved character in the action, and without using any card in your inventory, take a 283 card and banish this. All right, so we're getting a, a green card to add to our hand. That stuff not being straight was bothering me. Put that over here. Okay, so if we look for a locked card, if it looks easy enough, we'll attempt it without using any items. So I'm looking for 131 here. Seems to be a small clearing amidst the close, comfortable pines that provide good cover and protection from the wind. Okay, some more tracks, another little hut type thing. Not the same kind as that one over there. And we need a couple more. Let's go there, and how about you? There. So, Let's move over there. It's only it's a it's a card draw, and we're leaving the tile with the thunderstorm. So let's do the card draw. We do have one spot in our hand. Examine the notes. Interestingly enough, this is a red locked card. One draw, one star. Hmm. We might have to try that. But first, but first, immediately after one of our character figures leaves the terrain card with a thunderstorm figure on it, take a 549 card. And there's more than one. Wow. There's four of them. Let's hope we get the one that's good for us. So one, two, three, four, we roll five and six. That's a six, two. So these three are going back. If 
549. A blinding flash rends the sky, and lightning strikes just a few feet from you in a deafening explosion. Each character on the active player's terrain card must individually take the following action. Once each concerned character has discard this. All right, so this is basically we have we have to get three successes, and we can start by drawing one card. And we have to immediately do this. If the active player is frightened, they take a 107 card. Otherwise, they take a 103 card if we fail. Um, I'm going to draw one and maybe just use our two star card here. Because I've got remember and I can always get it back out of the discard pile. So I'm just going to draw one. I got one star. I'm going to play this during the results step to get two additional stars and I have to draw 101. I'll just draw that randomly from the ones that's in the box. Feeling incredibly drowsy and struggling. So it is a red hand card, but there's no blue square with the X on it. And I can rest to do that, or uh, to get rid of that. And I will just choose to put that into my hand. So then I, the active player can choose one card with the keyword will in the discard pile and add it to their hand. Uh, when do you discard cards? So during the results step, Would this be in the discard pile? Hmm, because this has the keyword will on it. I'll be okay, because I've got, I'm just gonna use this. So I'm done with this particular uh, 549 card, pass that test. Um, I'll just play this, remember, to get this two-star card back out of the discard pile. Okay, so that was us just moving onto this terrain card. So now I want to attempt this examine the notes. How about taking a few moments to study the notes that you and your companions took during your previous expedition to the Seventh Continent? See if I can't do this and work on this side quest at the same time. So I gotta draw exactly one card and get a star. And I did, it's a camouflaged outfit. So there's no reason not to just add that to our hand. Okay, so this is gonna get discarded. We're gonna take two uh, zero, 050 zero cards. And there are a ton of these. There are a ton of these. So we look at two, keep one, return the other one. That card gets discarded, and then we will deal with our side quest. I want this one and this one. Untitled score. If you want to take the following action, you must use a card with the keyword music. So there's music to play. Take a 343 card. Or, uh, yes, I think we are keeping this card. I mean, who wouldn't keep the treasure map? The place this map points to must certainly conceal a buried treasure. Keep your eyes peeled. 
uh, so rock mountainous things and then a tree with no leaves on it and then like pine trees well that's interesting take a card whose number is equal to the number of your terrain card plus 670 from the adventure deck if available if it's not the right card return it and the action is a failure wow Uh, we're definitely keeping the treasure map. So the untitled score will go back in with the rest of these. And now our side quest, because we completed a red locked action without using any items. And I have totally screwed up putting these cards back in the box. There we go. Should be an easy task. So 283, we banish that and we take 283. Uh, or one, A283 if there's more than one. There's not, there's only one. So 283, prepare for the worst. Your outstanding achievement makes you feel very relieved and proud. This experience will undoubtedly help you overcome future obstacles. Immediately after this is revealed, take three 003 cards. Advanced skill cards with the keyword skill now cost two fewer experience points. They cannot cost less than one. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. So I don't think we're gonna need to have this out consistently. So I will add this to my satchel, my actual leather satchel. So we've got our pocket watch, the flying root card, the red seaweed card, and now this card that gives us a discount on skill cards. And we need to make sure we get three experience points. So one, two, three, and we're up to six now, I think. Yes, we've got six. So these ones that I'm gonna have to probably keep moving back and forth between the box, I don't wanna put in here, so I don't wanna keep digging them out. 53 minutes will go a little longer. Is that everything? Still just like moving on to the terrain card and doing some basic stuff. Oh, you know what? I forgot that if I didn't like what I drew during the snowshoe, the snow walking action, perseverance also impacts that. Camouflage outfit. Crafting is leaves and vine. There's wood here. No. So let's let's look like, like in this little hut here. Uh, uh, it's one card. Geez, another remember. It's interesting. This one is serenity. This one is will, and the other one I think was vigilance. I think I'm going to keep this remember and put the camouflage outfit in the discard pile. Um, actually, is there a cheaper fire making card in here right now? No, there's not. I do not have an item that, that I can use to make fire at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at the clue card again. Yeah, so I want to go... I want to go north. Still. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't pulled this card. I, I pulled that from there for this action and I haven't pulled the card. Yeah. 
So there's more than one 71 card. There's two of them. Same thing, odd even. So it's odd. Discover a camp that seems to have been deserted long ago. It provides you a rudimentary shelter and some basic comfort. Uh, the active play, you notice a taut wire at ankle height, a trap. Have you already set it off? The active player may discard one card with the keyword Vigilance from their hand or inventory in order to discard this immediately and take another 071 card. If they cannot or do not want to, take a 97 card. Oh man, that would be my blowpipe. I don't think I want this trap to spring. It's probably better just to get rid of the torch and the blowpipe, even though there's four uses on the thing. That's unfortunate. So I'm gonna discard this and take the other 71 card. Immediately after this is revealed, one involved character may choose one card with the keyword Serenity in the discard pile and add it to their hand. I can rest here. You've learned from your experiences, and each involved character returns their tired state. Now we have leaves. Um, the only card I have that has Serenity on it is my Remember, and that does the same thing. It gets me a card. Oh, no, wait. Immediately after it's revealed, one involved character may choose one card with the keyword Serenity in the discard pile and add it to their hand. My, my, my Remembers do the same thing. Right. I don't see any like red seaweed, which makes sense because I'm not by the ocean. It'd be nice to be able to craft this woven cord. There isn't even any stone available to make it cheaper. I know there doesn't have to be the resources. I just like doing it when it's free. I think I'm going to rest to get rid of this tired state, and maybe I can turn this experience into some more cards for the action deck. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's zero cards, one success. Um, I don't have anything that helps me with resting. Is there anything here that I wanna get with my remember card first? Examine the notes is in, was interesting. I can always get that card back. Trade in a remember for a remember. How many times am I going to say that joke? Even It's not really a joke. Nothing for resting. There's no bad consequence for not succeeding, so I'll just uh, hope I get a star. It's zero cards and one star, but I'm just gonna draw one card and try to get a star, and it was a curse. We'll just take the same action again, because there's no bad consequence. Hey, the club. Aggressiveness. It might be nice to have a weapon might be nice to have a weapon. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, man, the woven cord, I really need to make a fire. I don't want to get rid of the rope. I mean, I, I know the rope is not doing much for me right now. Oh, but I could use it to make um, building this fire cheaper. But I remember that wall being like really hard to climb, so I want to keep it at least until I get to the 
uh, like the cliff thing. I'm going to put the club back in the discard pile. I mean, I've got these remembers. I can always pull it out if I really want it. I mean, just putting it in here and discarding remember is the same thing. Okay, so we get to take a 000, zero card. Randomly take four advanced skill cards from the game box. Spend X experience points to purchase the cards of your choice, where X is the purchasing cost. Each purchased advanced skill gets either shuffled into the action deck or added to the hand of one involved character. Then return those you did not purchase. Return this. Rest and recuperation is a great opportunity to reflect on your experiences from the last few days and focus on the skills you are developing. All right, so we need our massive deck of advanced skill cards. We've got six experience points to spend. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do this um, this little level up here that'll get rid of our retired state. And then uh, we have to remember that we have the pocket watch from the um, expansion, the Path of Repentance expansion. So we will resolve that. And then I think I'll put in a cut here uh, for this for this episode. All right. Speaking of cuts, we'll just cut this massive deck. One, two, three, and I'm going to go to the middle for four. This is exciting. New cards. Okay, what did we get? Making preparations. One involved character may choose one card in the action deck or the discard pile and add it to their hand. First, let's see if there's any skill. We did not get any skill. The following effect applies as long as you have this in hand. Wood and bamboo can be interchangeable for crafting. Learn by doing. You may discard this during the cost step of an action you're involved in in order to apply the following effect. Minus five cost and take a 106. Deja vu. You may discard this during the cost step of an action you're involved in in order to apply the following effect. Randomly draw up to two cards from the discard pile instead of drawing them from the action deck. Oh, I like that. Because we're getting, that's like two free cards. Making preparations is similar to remember, except that it from the action deck or the discard pile. You have to draw a card and get a success for it though. You do not have enough experience to buy more than one of these. I like the idea of deja vu. So I'm going to take deja vu. And I do want to add it to my hand. What am I going to get rid of? I really want the woven cord. It's my only fire making item at the moment. So we're gonna take deja vu. Let me put these other ones back. Um, I think I might just add it to the action deck for now. Is that dumb? They're giving me the opportunity to add it to my hand. Perseverance. I see a lot of snow around me. I kind of want this ability to draw a new card when I'm doing the snow, uh, the walking in snow action. I guess I'll just get rid of one of these two remembers. How many cards do we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Thinking we might want to build 
a fire and do some cooking as well. We do get to get rid of our tired state because of this resting thing that we did here. Uh, so we return the 101. Just back into the mix of all the other 101s in the box. And now, remember our pocket watch says every time at least one character performs the rest action, take a 500 card during the consequence step. Uh, I'm still in the consequence step because I did the 000, zero and I returned my tired state. That's in the consequence step. Uh, how many 500s are there? Four, five, looks like quite a few actually. Maybe these should be sleeved. Wow. One, two, three. Yeah, there's quite a few of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or. And I saw a gold one in there too. So I won't. I won't roll for this. I'll just shuffle and take one out. I think I will sleeve these in between. Take this one. Put those back in a minute. One day has passed. When you wake up, you feel ready to push through any upcoming challenges. Each involved character may either choose up to two cards with the keyword will or stamina or aggressiveness in the discard pile and add them to their hand or randomly take one card from the discard pile and shuffle it back into the action deck. Two cards into my hand. I think I like where my hand is at right now though. So I will just randomly take one card from the discard pile and shuffle it back into the action deck. Uh, how about you? I shouldn't have looked at it. But it was the blowpipe. Shuffling it back into the action deck. All right, and that gets banished. All right, so we're gonna do one more thing just real quick. I'm gonna craft the woven cord. It's, I would draw two cards. I don't need any successes because I'm, I don't have access to either of the, um, you know, you know what? Actually, I think I'll save this for the start of the next next time because I don't. I might look at these two areas here to see if it opens up a stone or vine resource. Where did I see? I had vine and fire over here. I actually could. Uh, probably foolishly use my walking stick to walk over there. Then I wouldn't even have to craft my woven cord. Now I'm already over here. So, oh, this also has to get returned. Zero, zero, zero card. Oh, and I can't forget to actually spend the five XP on the deja vu. Okay, I will put those back in the box. I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this episode. I'm not gonna actually do a save and um, put everything away. Um, I might get rid of Now I think I'll just leave the board state as it is for now and see where it takes us. If we have to move some cards down, I know there's some rules in the book about uh, making room on the, the table for the map. 
I can always move my hand over and move the map down a little bit too. But I don't want to actually just, I don't want to do an actual save um, and clean everything up just yet. But I do want to put a cut in to uh, reduce the video a little bit. Leave any comments down below on anything uh, that you saw that's wrong or any other comments on um, tips or tricks or anything like that. Also, any other curses you want to see for future videos, put it down there. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know that you're actually liking the Seven Continent um, content. And I'm excited and hopefully ready for Seven Citadel on Tuesday of next week, I think it is, uh, the 22nd of September, a couple days away. I really like uh, what they've done with this game, and now they've had time to iterate on the concepts and the mechanisms. So I'm hoping um, Seventh Citadel delivers even more. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.